I had beer in my mind. Uh, that's just the way I, the direction I wanted to take, uh, good craft beers and uh, a high respect for them. You know, beer was overshadowed, craft beer was overshadowed by uh, quality wines and I do believe that little by little it's getting the recognition that a good wine would have and that's important to me. It's great to see people bellying up at the bar and uh, talking beer. It's, it's great. They're, they're great people. They're interesting people. I think it's why I began with the craft beer scene, uh, for the love of people and uh, great craft brews and the work that's uh, put behind these craft brews. I think the, the people behind them are really, really interesting and, and fun, and we have a lot of fun here with them. We like to keep a great variety of beers on. Um, we're always rotating, and we'll always have a, a fantastic IPA Imperial Stout. Um, a seasoned beer on, you know, and a few Germans and a few Belgians that are doing wonderful things. We usually have about 10 different New Jersey brews on at one time, whether it's Kane, Carton, Valero, Snore, whoever it may be. They, they've taken the time to create such an art form. We can at least take the time to appreciate that and put it on our draft system. The future of craft beer is always growing and it will always grow, while the Mohawk House will be right there with them along the way.